Madam Vice President, the High Commissioner's report gives a glimpse behind the facade put up to cover the deepening impunity, systematic repression of dissent, continuing violations of human rights in war-affected regions, and deepening in economic inequalities in the country. Nearly 15 years after the end of the war, victims continue to wait for justice. The recent proposal of a truth and reconciliation mechanism, like successive commissions set up by the government, appears to be designed to shield those implicated in war crimes and crimes against humanity from criminal accountability while keeping the council and international community distracted. Similarly, failure to credibly investigate the Easter Sunday bombings, including recent revelations about the complicity of state security apparatus, leaves little room for public confidence in domestic mechanisms. Furthermore, the continuing harassment of human rights defenders, activists, as well as Tamils and Muslims and families of disappeared and others in the North and the East shows that the government's lack of commitment to systematic reforms demanded by protesters. This is demonstrated by the proposal to supposedly reform the Draconian Prevention of Terrorism Act through equally draconian laws. In absence of accountability through domestic mechanisms, the Council remains an important avenue of hope of justice for victims of past atrocities and of successive governments. Therefore, the Council must strengthen and expand the accountability project as well as the monitoring and reporting mandates of the country. Thank you.